Two crashes involving law enforcement this week are highlighting the importance of slowing down and moving over for emergency vehicles. Kelloland's Jordan DeSmit caught up with the Minnehaha County Sheriff's Office and a Sioux Falls towing company to see what precautions they take while they are out on the road. Yesterday, there were two crashes in South Dakota involving law enforcement vehicles, one in Union County and the other in Jackson County. Yeah, unfortunately, these types of accidents with law enforcement vehicles do occur. They've happened here in the county, you know, over the last several years. It serves as a reminder to slow down and move over for any vehicle using flashing lights. As part of the move over law, drivers are required to move over or slow down when a vehicle is using blue, yellow, or amber warning lights. If they don't, they could be hit with a $270 fine. A lot of the times the lights indicate something else is going on. So whether it's DOT uh, picking up litter or a tow vehicle towing another vehicle, you know, there's things happening in, in front of those lights that you may not be able to see. The dangers of working on the side of the road is not lost on tow truck drivers at Jim and Ron's. If you think about it, you're, you're on the side of the road standing still and there's traffic coming at you at 80 miles an hour and you're three feet away from that traffic that's moving 80 miles an hour. Which forces them to take precautions. We do everything we can from the lights that we have on our trucks to the reflective gear, uh, obviously training to under, um, let them understand that you never take an eye off the road. Um, we have special equipment for our trucks that will uh, we can turn it on when we turn on our lights to uh, inform anybody that's using a nav system that there's a traffic incident ahead. But preventing the next accident is simple. Don't be in such a hurry. Stay safe. Get there a couple minutes late versus not at all. In Sioux Falls, Jordan DeSmith, Kelloland News. Now, if you don't follow the move over law, you could also be sentenced to 30 days in jail.